surprise, I've got two now. These are absolutely fantastic spiders. These animals are not dangerous uh, when they are given the space to just do their own thing. Widows on my hand, oh my gosh. So lovely, I love these spiders. My name is Jack, and I've spent the past few years traveling all over the globe to find some of nature's most unique and dangerous animals. My goal? To show the world that even the most bizarre, or perhaps even deadly life forms on Earth, deserve both our respect and our appreciation. Now this mission has brought me face to face with some seriously creepy and dangerous groups of animals. Now there's one group in particular I often find myself running into, spiders. Arachnophobia, the fear of spiders, is one of the most common fears across the globe, and it's no real secret as to why. Whether it's the spindly, probing legs, the big, expressionless eyes, or perhaps even the venomous bite, spiders seem to strike a sensitive and primal nerve. Ask yourself, are you afraid of spiders? If you answered yes, you may be in the right place. In today's video, I'm venturing out to showcase the true nature of spiders in order to cure your arachnophobia. These aren't aggressive, villainous monsters. They're animals, and important ones at that. Think I can help your arachnophobia? Well, let's meet some new friends and find out. Now, the first thing you might think of when you think Black Widow is perhaps this malevolent, dangerous, deadly spider that is set on creeping out from its spindly web and envenomating, biting you and killing you. Now, what I'm going to do today is completely dismember this idea of Black Widows and even spiders in general that you may have cultured within your mind. So spiders, despite their many spindly legs and all their eyes and those chelicerae and fangs up at the front, they might look like the main threat from some kind of crazy monster movie or alien movie or something like that. But in reality, these animals are specifically adapted to fill a very particular role in their native ecosystems. These are not only really, really cool, specialized animals, but they're important animals. So today what I'm going to show you is the truth behind the Black Widow. And what I'm hoping to accomplish today is to kind of dismember that, that stereotype, that, that stigma, that fear that you may be carrying with you, and perhaps even ignite an appreciation or love for these spiders. So uh, we're gonna get right into it. Uh, of course, as always, do not try and do anything that I will be attempting on this show. Uh, you can and will get uh, very seriously hurt if you try and uh, copy a lot of this type of stuff. So leave it to me and uh, keep your eyes open and your mind open for what I'm about to show you. Black widows are among some of the most toxic spiders in the world, and yet they are easily one of the most cowardly. These spiders are much quicker to flee at the first sign of danger than to rear up and defensively bite. Most bites occur by accident, like putting on a shoe left outside or accidentally pinning one to your hand as you move something around in a garage or attic. At the end of the day, we are horrifyingly scary giants to spiders, and they'd much rather get away from us if they can. We might not all have arachnophobia, but I'm sure every spider on Earth has a phobia of us. Remember that the next time you come across one of these eight-legged beings. All right, so what I have in this little bottle here, it's a little dirty, hard to see. This is a northern black widow, or Latrodectus variolus. 
Now what's really special about these spiders is that they are the largest native black widow to North America and honestly one of the largest in the world. Um, these are absolutely fantastic, beautiful spiders uh, that once again really have no interest in harming you in any way. How do I know this? Well, you're about to find out. Let's take a look at this beautiful little spider. I want to be gentle. I want to be caring. She's a little chilly. It's kind of a chilly morning out here in uh, North Texas. Look at that. Stunning, stunning spider. Now, a lot of people would think I'm crazy for doing this type of thing. But really what I'm about to teach you about these spiders may come as a shock. These fantastic little animals are really not aggressive in any way. Uh, in fact, as you can see, she's kind of laying down a foundation of web as she walks. These animals are quite clumsy outside of their webs. And so as she kind of explores, tries to find a place to hide, to hang out, She's gonna be depositing that web all over my hand just to give her a little bit of a better bearing on what's going on. So really at the end of the day, these animals use that precious resource of their venom. And the primary use of that is to procure prey, not to defend themselves against predators. Although they have an incredibly potent venom, it's not really fast acting and can take hours to start to settle in, to start to really mess up the nervous system of a potential predator or attacker. So as a defensive bite measure, it's really not all that effective. So these animals usually will flee at the first sign of danger. They'll retreat into the, into the smaller cavities of their nest, into the smaller areas where they can kind of hide away. So right now, as you can see, I'm really in no real danger. Of course, she could decide if she becomes threatened to give me a quick pinch and release bite. And even that tiny, minuscule amount of venom is many more times potent than that of a rattlesnake. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean a bite from one of these animals is going to be more dangerous than a rattlesnake. No, uh, the dosage makes the poison. And so what I mean by that is these animals inject such a tiny minuscule amount that even though it's so concentrated, it's so dangerous when compared to some of our venomous snake species, because it's in such a small amount, the body can process it and it's not gonna be as severe as some of those larger snakes that have drop for drop, less potent venom, but of course, a lot more volume when they inject it. Ah, it's a fantastic spider, isn't it? Take a look at that. <laughs> now, although these are venomous animals, it's not a reason to fear them. Of course, we need to respect them. We need to respect their space. Uh, but just because an animal is venomous does not really make it any more or less likely uh, to cause you any harm. Of course, if you go out of your way to try and smush these animals or, or any type of dangerous venomous animal, uh, getting within close proximity and starting to attack or otherwise harm these animals, that's when people are bitten. Um, especially by snakes. Uh, with these spiders, it's, bites often occur through accident. Uh, these spiders aren't kind of coming out to bite you. It's not the spiders you're really seeing that are gonna pose any threat. It's these little spiders that are looking for a nice new place to kind of hide out. They're getting into shoes you've left in the garage or clothes that you've left on the floor. And that's when they're kind of making a sneaky little home for themselves. And that's when, you know, you put on a shirt or you put on a shoe or a sock that might have one of these spiders in it. When that spider gets crammed right up against your skin, that's when those bites occur. When the animal feels like it's being attacked, when it feels like it's being killed by something or eaten by something. And we can't expect them to do anything differently than that. Surprise, I've got two now. These are absolutely fantastic spiders. And a lot of people don't realize that even though these are incredibly venomous, these are super shy, timid spiders. They really aren't quick to bite. They really aren't quick to do anything that would even remotely resemble aggression. These animals are what I would call purely defensive, which means that they don't really go out of their way. They're not very proactive in biting anything other than prey. Uh, they wait until they kind of feel threatened or even attacked before they are willing to kind of make a bite against really much of anything. 
but take a look here. These are two of North America's most toxic venomous spiders. These are incredibly toxic, and because they get to such a large size in, compar to, in comparison to some of our other native species, these are capable of holding quite a lot of venom within themselves. So that's something to factor in here. A bite from a large northern black widow uh, could be extremely severe, extremely uncomfortable, and perhaps even potentially dangerous depending on your biology. But, like I said, these animals, they're not scary. And you might think that they're a little creepy, you might think that they're a little spooky, but at the end of the day, these are animals same as anything else. They deserve respect, they deserve appreciation, and they deserve the space to do what they're here to do, which is manage arthropod uh, uh, populations, and even pest species like roaches and, and bed bugs and all that type of stuff that you could find within your dwellings. So these are spectacularly important animals and, and, and they've been so vastly misunderstood through media, through, through arachnophobia, through all types of, of media and other types of stimuli that has just caused our brains to hardwire this scary, monstrous, nightmarish image of these animals in our heads. And as you can see, these are, these are peaceful. This isn't a one-off. This, this isn't a rare occasion for these animals to, to be placid, to be calm, to be just kind of, you know, exploring unknown terrain. These animals are not dangerous uh, when they are given the space to just do their own thing. Of course, a bite from one of these animals is dangerous, and that's not really what I'm talking about, because as you can see, even getting close to these animals, while I don't recommend it and I don't commend anyone who tries to copy this without a, a real understanding of the behavior and biology of these animals, even getting close up and personal to these creatures, I'm, I'm, I'm really, me, a, a wildlife YouTuber, a wildlife expert, you could even say, I'm not in any real danger because I know how to work with these animals and I know how to keep them calm. I know what to look for. And I know that at the end of the day, these animals are not looking for a reason to bite you. Uh, they're just looking to survive, looking to exist, and that's all we can really ask of them. Now, you may be sitting at home in a state of shock at just how calm and peaceful these venomous widow spiders are. But guess what? The vast majority of spiders are all like this. Yes, you can find plenty of examples of species that are more defensive in certain situations, but the vast majority of spider species act just like this. Spiders are not inherently evil or aggressive. They protect their lives when threatened and that's it. We can certainly extend some human empathy in their direction for that, can't we? Now, these have got to be one of my favorite groups of spiders of all time, and I might be a little biased, but even after taking my excruciating black widow bite, I still have such appreciation and respect for these animals. Uh, a lot of people just seem to have quite a serious problem with spiders in general, especially these ones that are dangerous. Um, but at the end of the day, I just, the goal of my channel, my mission on this planet is to stick up for these animals that have just been blown way out of proportion. These animals are not monsters, they're not dangerous uh, to you if you know how to be around them. Uh, of course, a bite, once again, would be very uncomfortable uh, and potentially dangerous to any uh, human being. But, but as you can see, a, an unprovoked bite is, is an almost impossible, if not an impossible thing to do. These animals are, are complex, but they're simple in their behavior. They're simple in their, in their interactions with other organisms. And they are talented hunters, but they are also uh, placid and calm spiders that really have no interest in harming you for no reason. They will, of course, defend themselves if they have to. But I just wanted, once again, to reiterate the beautiful behavioral tendencies of these spiders. Even though they're dangerous, uh, they are not willing to go out of their way to harm us. And that's just a great thing. We can't ask for much more than, than that with these fantastic spiders. Lovely, aren't they? Take a look at that. Oh, wow. Two black widows on my hand. Oh my gosh. So lovely. I love these spiders. It's hard not to love them. I mean, even if you're afraid of spiders and you're like, I hate this video, Jack. 
I hope that you can appreciate just the beauty. Uh, the Northern Black Widow is easily one of our most beautiful species. Uh, really, they come in close second for me, uh, right behind the Red Widow, which is a truly remarkable widow species. But these are just so elegant with that black and red contrast. You, you get to see a lot of that white on this juvenile down here as well, the subadult. They are just so fantastic. So that's that's what I'm here to do today, is I'm here to hopefully change people's minds about these fantastic animals. Uh, they're not really the bloodthirsty, scary monster movie type creatures that uh, you might uh, have believed prior to this video. So I hope that I was able to kind of shift your perception, shift your mind, change your mind about these fantastical little arachnids. I think we've had our fun with them today, so I'm gonna let them get back to relaxing in their beautiful webs. And uh, that's all I've really got for you. So thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed learning about these fantastic spiders, watching me work with these beautiful little earthlings here with me today. And I hope that I helped at least start you on the journey of exploring perhaps your arachnophobia or your fear of spiders uh, in a way that's of no risk to you yourself at home just to watch me handle these very dangerous venomous spiders um, but i hope you were able to maybe get a seed planted in your mind that maybe you have the wrong idea about these spiders they're not scary they're they're not out to get you they're just animals trying to do their best to survive and we need them and we appreciate the roles that they serve in their uh, native ecosystems and we couldn't ask for better helpers on the planet to help us manage uh, flies and flying insects and all sorts of other stuff. They're just great at what they do, and we love them for it. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.